Season of Discovery is finally here, and if you want to know some different ways of getting a little bit of a leg up when entering into this new version of World of Warcraft, then I've got you covered. Maybe you want to know some of the most insane gold making methods that you can do at level 25, or you might want some tips on how to level quickly to get ahead of the pack so that you're not stuck trying to fight against thousands and thousands of people for one specific mob to get a quest done. Well, today I'm going to give you all of the tips and tricks that I think are the very most important for everyone to know moving into Season of Discovery. And we're going to start off right away with what might be the highest gold per hour farm in the entire game at this level. And this one is going to be exclusively to Horde, so you can only do this on Horde, but head over to the southeastern region of Hillsbrad Foothills. Right here, you're going to find a keep that has these mobs called Dungarok Riflemen. You're just going to want to kill a ton of these until they drop Humbert's Helm. This is a BOE helm with 7 agility and 8 stamina, that is the pre bis and best helm in the entire game that we know of outside of the new raid for every single melee DPS and hunters. This means that everyone wants to get one of these, so if you can farm a ton of them, you can sell them on the auction house, but not even just that. Go and sell them on the neutral auction house so that all of the alliance players will buy them. They literally cannot defeat these mobs for themselves because they're friendly to alliance. So all horde players head out here and farm these nonstop, the early weeks and you will be able to sell these for a ton of gold. Right as Season of Discovery launches in the very early on sessions when you're first playing the game, make sure to set up characters on every single one of the realms that you think you might eventually play on. That's because Blizzard came out and said to counter faction imbalance, like a server being 99% Horde and 1% Alliance, they might actually lock servers and not allow you to make a character on that realm. Well, if you already have a character on that realm of each respective faction, then you will always be able to create more characters of that faction. Now, for PvP realms, you cannot create both an alliance and a horde character, so you will have to choose accordingly just in case you ever want to one day make another character on that realm. Or if you have a second account, then just log on to that and create the other faction and you're absolutely set. Right as you log into the game, you're going to want to get ahead of the pack. There's going to be thousands of people logging in at one time and a ton of them are fighting for the same monster monsters that you are. So here's a few ways that you can get through these early zones pretty quickly so that you can be out exploring the world and finding these new discoveries as well as reaching 25 a lot faster than everyone else. The first thing you're going to want to do, and this is kind of against what most players love to do, is actually group up with other people. Specifically, you want to do this whenever there is a kill quest. This is because everyone can get on an exact spawn location or a respawn location of one of the enemies that is going to spawn, and this will drastically increase the amount of time that it takes for you to complete these quests. So make sure that you group up with people early on. I know it's hard headed. A lot of times we want to just be like, I'm doing this myself. It is so much faster to just group up with people for the kill quest and then just split up whenever there's something like collecting any items from mobs on the ground. And since we're fighting against other people to try to hit an enemy first, what you want to have is a targeting macro and an attack macro all in one, actually just one macro that will slash target whatever you need to kill and it will attack them instantly. So macro in start attack into every one of these macros and I would personally just put it on scroll wheel. I also have a tendency to add in this little line right here. What this does is it puts a marker on the target. So if something is say spawned within a cave and not near myself, I will see the marker and be able to run into the cave and defeat it very easily. What happens when you make it out of the starting zone, but there's still way too many people around you to even complete a quest? Well, abuse layers. That's right, if you get invited by someone on a different layer, they might actually have a completely open world where there's no one else at your level that is anywhere near you so that you can just actually complete all of the quests very quickly and you'll even start leveling faster and faster as other people get bogged down trying to fight over spawns. The best way to do this is to join a guild and to have the add-on Nova world buffs. If you have this, you can check for all of the guild layers and you can see who's on a different 
layer or ask in guild just say anything off of layer three or layer six i expect there to be a ton on launch and early on what can get you on a really free layer is when someone creates a character maybe 30 minutes to an hour after you created your character if they just started then they'll probably be on one of the newer layers and the best way to help you with your leveling experience to level quickly or to just know what to do in every situation to know where you can do some of the skips or to know where any of the new runes are as soon as that gets discovered then i would always suggest you pick up rested xp you don't need to use the hardcore version of this add-on but i would highly suggest the speed leveling version it is just so nice to be able to follow an arrow to know where you need to go next for each of the quests and on day one it won't know where any of the runes are or any of the new quests so you get to experience all of those things yourself but any of the old world content that you might want to blast through you can just get through really easily as long as you follow the guide you can grab it from the link in the description but always be aware this is a paid guide and i do get a little bit of a kickback for this so it's kind of a plug but i genuinely actually believe in this this guide is so incredibly well done and everyone pretty much either uses this or zygor so just choose whichever you want if you want a guide yourself to help you on your leveling experience as you're leveling it can be a huge waste of time to return to your trainer every two levels because you might not get access to any abilities that actually help you with your leveling speed so instead you should download the add-on what's training this will just let you look right here in your spell book to tell what you're getting at every single leveling bracket so you know beforehand if you need to head back to your trainer to get a new main spell that will help you with your leveling process or if you can wait a few more levels until you need to go back to the trainer since it's quite a long run for most people but one thing that can make that run a lot faster is to batch your hearthstones batching hearthstones is basically getting two hearthstones out of one where if you're moving on to a new zone to start leveling you can have your hearthstone set at your old zone and then just talk to the innkeeper in the new zone you just arrived in now use the hearth and as soon as the spell is about to go off just click accept to change where your hearth is you will teleport to your old location and your hearth will now be set at that new location basically it allows you to do the teleport but your next teleport will be back to that new location this is doubling down on hearthing and it can make traveling the world a lot faster and some of the best ways to do this will actually be suggested within rested xp i didn't plan that out but it will actually tell you how to do it really well in case that's going to be extremely helpful for you later on in your leveling experience if your bags start getting a little full all you need to do is log out once and create a bank character then just make sure to log into that alt once and log back out and now you can go to the mailbox and send things to them indefinitely this will allow you to have infinite bag space early on and it is also a really easy way for you to have access to an auction house early on if you decide to run that bank alt over to your main city. If you want to make enough gold to be able to afford anything you want as you're leveling up, then I would highly suggest picking up the profession skinning. And all you do is actually vendor the skins and the hides you found, and it will give you enough silver and gold eventually to be able to afford anything on your leveling journey. But if you want to make even more gold with a profession, then early on on any single server launch, the best way to make gold from a profession is to learn wands early. If you can create wands Wands, then you can sell them on the auction house or in general chat for a ton of silver very quickly so to do this you have to learn and level up enchanting to learn how to craft wands and then just dominate the auction house one thing most people are going to overlook is the world buff that you can get actually three days into launch december 3rd for the entire week we will have access to the dark moon fair this will give you 10 percent increased damage which is absolutely huge so if you can grab this it will massively help your leveling speed for the next two hours just head outside of stormwind or thunder bluff and you guys can actually let me know in the comments where it should be but make sure to pick up this buff as often as you can and lastly if you're horde or alliance this is probably the best way to make a ton of gold early on because this is the absolute best way to farm the rarest and strongest 
BOE items for any character that you can sell on the auction house. And that is going to be to farm Razor Fen Crawl. In the Southern Barrens, Razor Fen Crawl is the highest level dungeon that we pretty much have access to at this level. But the best thing here is that you get a crazy amount of insane twink items or pre base items or even best in slot items that can drop randomly off any of the mobs. Now, these have insanely low drop chances, so you're going to be here farming a ton. But if you get something to drop like a mantle of thieves, you just hit the gold mine. Every single person playing this game is going to want to buy that from you. And you can make an absolute killing on the auction house selling these things and have enough gold to actually even probably buy your epic mount once you hit level 60. And if you have any more questions or want to know more about your class or what to expect or what you should be doing and even where the runes are as we find them in Season of Discovery, then make sure to follow my channel and check out some of the videos on the page. And I'll try to keep you guys as updated as early and often as possible as soon as things change or as soon as things are found out. Also, if you want to watch the Race to World First BFD, I will cover it on the page as well as I will be streaming a lot of things over on the YouTube channel. So make sure to check me out or I don't know where the like and subscribe is, but I appreciate you guys. And I hope you like the new room. It's, it's coming together. That's all. Okay, bye.